Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are watching the station identification of one of Whalen City's resident YouTubers. Live in the basement, this is not MTV's remote control, and he is not Ken Ober, God rest Ken Ober's soul. This is WEML-TV, Channel 77, and now here's your host, New Bedford, Massachusetts' own Mr. Eric M. Lima. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you, Mr. Announcer. Hey, this is my CVS, you know, channel, vlog, show. You get it? Yeah. And, and it ain't, ain't the pharmacy that we used to shop in, that I, I sh we currently shop in here locally. No, 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 no. This is WEML TV channel 77 in which there's ordinary and then there's me eric lemur your host of the show i'm glad to have you here on this lovely tuesday morning 11 39 a.m august the 31st 2021 oh boy last day of august man i'll tell you what this summer has been quite unique in a, in a, in a very special way Excuse, uh, this is something I gotta get used to because everything is on the up and up. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm just gonna get try to get used to this because of of the fact that <laughs> this thing I think it weighs it it weighs down the uh, the rear view mirror more. And I can just look up I can just look over there over my head. I haven't done this thing in a while, it's the fifteenth edition of Road and Up and uh, you know, I think all the bumps that are causing the uh, my phone to, to uh to do some crazy things i don't know how everybody's doing out there man august last day of august uh we've been through quite a lot in august i've been through uh, uh quite a lot in august uh mentally from a mental standpoint you know and uh i'm just very very happy that august is over a lot of you know we i knew this was going to be the hottest month of the year and uh they weren't kidding with that oh there goes a fire engine man fire engines dude I wonder how many more fire engines coming out oh uh, okay I'm gonna stop here and wait uh, stop here and wait until everybody goes because I got no no turn on red side already been to Walmart today got out of work not too long ago and about I think over an hour ago I think and now I'm uh, yeah about an hour and five minutes ago went to Walmart got a few things and now uh, Went to Subway, got my lunch. Now I'm heading home. And uh, I gotta tell you, I have to admit, this has been a very, very crazy, uh, crazy summer. Now it, now it's coming, now it's summer is almost coming to a close. We get a couple of weeks away until, um, a couple of weeks away until summer is over, ladies and gentlemen, or three weeks away. And then, we're going to trade in our t-shirts and shorts and bikinis and all that. Whatever the girls wear nowadays. Unbelievable. And we'll trade them in for sweatshirts, sweaters, hoodies, and jeans, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. We are. Uh, it seems like the male people like to hold everybody up. I'm going to wait till this uh, male person goes here. Whoops. Wait till this person goes. Um, my car can fit. There we go. Oh, uh, I got a small car. You know how cool is that having a small car? There's a blessings to everything, man. Let me tell you. Um, I have to admit, I have to admit, it has been a a crazy summer, a crazy, crazy summer, to say the least. I mean, we had. Um, I mean, ever since uh, President Biden came in charge, I think that everything has been flipped upside down. We got people convicted from the January 6th uh, Capitol riots and whatnot. We got, uh, whoops, watch out there, buddy. Um, we got the uh, the return of the Whalen City Festival. That was a huge thing for New Bedford over the summer. But I think the only thing that damaged uh, New Bedford's economy was the lack of the Portuguese feast. We didn't have the Portuguese feast at all this year, unfortunately. So. Yeah, see, this is the problem I have with this. This is 
reason why I have not done episodes of this for quite a while. Because of the fact, thank you, because of the fact that, what is this car doing? The side of the road. All right. Yeah, see, I think that's the problem right there is that, you know, uh, uh, try to fix this and try to drive at the same time and do this video at the same time. What the heck is going on here? Uh, <laughs> it's like, hey, what happened? Why is, why is your camera shaking? Why is your camera all over the place, man? <laughs> oh, man. Well, as you know, uh, yeah, the, the, the return of the Wellness Sea Festival was huge this summer for the, for the Bedford. Unfortunately, the Portuguese Feast did not return. Hopefully next year they'll get um, games going again of that reason. And, um, and, you know, yeah, businesses, yeah, they've been taking hits and somewhat and everything else in between. And uh, I tried to uh, order uh, Subway sandwiches at the Walmart Subway. And they didn't have a whole lot. I'm like, crap. You know, they could have warned us, you know. But, whatever. Red Sox, I don't know, guys. I really don't know. I seriously do not know what is going on with the Red Sox. I am I am just just so offended right now. I feel bad for the Sox though. They keep getting hit with COVID to the point where oh, we'll get, you know, players have been out on Renfro was on bereavement leave. Like the timing of everything, excuse me, the timing of everything that's been going on is very, very bad. You know, we got a four-game series against the Rays, and it could be the most pivotal, pivotal series ever. It determines our fate, Red Sox fate, and what a, uh, it determines the Red Sox fate of whether or not they're going to make the playoffs this year. And it seems like to me they may not, and there could be a lot of changes happening. And I think this one's on the front office. I blame the front office. They're playing Hein Bloom. You know, I don't know why that is and uh, I I really don't know so I'm hoping that the off season there'll be a lot of overhaul changes that's for sure and you know I don't know if gonna be I don't know if we're gonna retain Rafi or Xander for that matter and uh, you know it's really really it's really really horrible you know what I mean so it's uh, uh so I don't know what to tell you and uh, we got to see what happens, man. We got to see what happens because we got a last full, full, uh, we got a last full month of the season. Then was on to football and huge news coming up from the New England Patriots that Cam Newton has been released by New England. Yes, kids, you heard it here. You heard it here first. Cam Newton, it's all over the news now. Cam Newton has been let go by the Patriots. And it's the turn of the Mac. The turn of the Mac. Not the return of the Mac. The turn of the Mac. That's right. Mac Jones will be the Patriots starting quarterback for this season. Well, maybe Bill Belichick likes something in Mac Jones. Can Mac Jones get the Patriots back to the playoffs? That's a good question. Can Mac Jones do what Brady done, has done for New England for 20 years? Get him to the playoffs. And winning Super Bowls. Well, we'll find out because I think it's a very interesting, uh, a very interesting situation, nonetheless. Uh, and uh, I personally cannot wait to see what uh, I seriously cannot wait to see what Mac Jones can do. It's going to be a very interesting season in New England, that's for sure. Uh, we don't know about the hockey season in the South. I know the South has got a new. Uh, a new um, new coach that who is currently dating former Fresh Prince of Bel Air star and former star of Friday Nia Long. So this is going to be very interesting uh, for her becoming to Boston. You know, Boston you know has been known to be a racist city. But I think more people with racist uh, racial attitudes. So it's good. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Uh, how Nia Long will be uh, received along with the new Celtics coach. And I think it's going to. Be, but I think it's. I think I think the Celtics will be fine under this new new coach. I can't wait to see what you know what can do. They got a lot of great young, hungry players, all right, and uh, I think they're due. But the Milwaukee Bucks, man, 
the, watch out for the Milwaukee Bucks, man. They're going to be tough to beat. They have, they are the NBA champs. They beat the Suns, so the Suns and the Bucks got targets on their back as far back as far as um, being the conference you know, respectable conference champions. But the Bucks, the Milwaukee Bucks, have the ultimate um, target overall because they um, because they are. The, the reigning defending NBA champions of the world. So, uh, so it'll be very interesting to see how this develops. You know, um, hockey. They got a new. Uh, they got a new team, the Seattle Kraken. And what's the name of the fan base? The Crackheads. Could be a crackhead. You remember the leprechaun and all of everything? I would like to say. Imagine, imagine the Seattle Kraken had their own theme song. They should start off with that lady going. Could be a crackhead. <laughs> oh, uh, that's funny. I don't care who you are. That's funny right there. Yeah, so Seattle fans, Seattle hockey fans will be known as crackheads, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> hey, you see, you see a, a, a fan wearing a Kraken jersey and some like squid-like hat. Oh, that's a crackhead. <laughs> Although they should, they should work together with Nintendo and get the blooper to be the mascot. Or 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 um, or here, here's here's the thing another two get um, have them work together with Hershey, have Crackle, have Crackle, <laughs> the bar, the Crackle bar. Oh man, I'm enjoying myself, man. <laughs> the Seattle Kraken. I can't believe it. I always like it's uh that's crazy, man. The Seattle Kraken. So the Manners got no, you know, Manners. The Seattle's got a basketball team. Not basketball. Team. Oh, here we go. I feel like Elias and Kevin Owens. Oh my gosh. Uh, now Seattle's got a football team, the Seahawks. Baseball team, Manners. Now a hockey team in the Kraken. Can we bring a basketball team back to Seattle for God's sakes? Man. Yeah. I see how Supersonic only know two people from uh, two players from that team. Sean Kemp and Detlef Shrimp. You know what I mean? Oh, that's crazy, man. Totally crazy. Yeah, I haven't done this in a uh, And it's one of the reasons why I've not done this uh, roading up because the camera keeps on. Um, maybe I gotta do this right or something. Anyways, nobody's behind me. So we're good. We're good. Yeah, I'm heading home. I got everything I needed. Uh, life is crazy, man. Life is crazy. Well, when I get home, we're going to end the video here because I want to enjoy music. Um, when I get home, we're going to do Raw. The Raw Event Center. A lot of craziness is happening at that point. Um, as you know, Rant and Raid podcast this Thursday, episode 99. And we're going to, and uh, for episode 100, we're going to do. A whole like two hour Eastern time, um, not two hour, uh, more than two hours, six hour marathon. Um, we're gonna have you know guests and whatnot and everything else in between. Don't know, well, actually, I don't know what's what is planned. All I know is we're planning a six hour thing. So I might have to make changes to the uh, game show formats, as you know. I usually do uh, Tic Tac Tuesday, so that's. For because it's only for next week. I might change it over to Target Tuesday where I play the Bullseye Bonus Island. And I'll do Target Tuesday and Tic Tac Tuesday. How's that? It'll be a double feature Tuesday. It'll be Target Tuesday. That will go on for for now. But it will be under the Thundercracker Thursday list. Um, playlist that I put together. And, and then I'll do Tic Tac Tuesday. It'll be a double feature no, it ain't single feature. Let's see. You want to go? Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, let me, uh, oh, well. Everybody, everybody's so jumpy today. Come on, come down. Anyways, um, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, so, 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 so next week I'll do a double feature on, uh, on Tuesday with Tic Tac Doe for Tic Tac Tuesday. And then for Thundercracker Thursday, and I'm going to call Target Thursday, uh, uh, Target Tuesday, 
was it Thursday? Thursday, is that a word? You know, um, <laughs> so, uh, so there's that. So I'm going to do a double feature on that. That's why I plan on doing Okay. Oh, there you go. Kids working. Driving a lawnmower. Anyways. Uh, so so there's that. So that's for next week. And um, I'm going to do that for, ne uh, for next week. So that's only for next week. So if, if you don't hear, if you hear from me playing Bullseye on Thursday... Because I'll be um, doing the Rant and Raid podcast. Although if I get home quickly on Thursday after work, I'll probably go home right away. I'll just make sure I arm myself with whatever I needed. As far as food is concerned, then I'm going to basically do that. Now, now I'll do the regular Thundercracker Thursday. I'll just gonna, I'm going to have to make it short and fast. Hopefully I don't get struck by lightning on the first spin each and every single time. But we'll see what happens. Okay, so um, if you if you guys love the Rant and Raid podcast, I know some of you guys have subscribed to me are fans of the Rant and Raid podcast. That's why I be doing it. So, so since it won't be until two o'clock, I will uh, do exactly that. So I want to make sure. But that's for next week. We're gonna worry. We'll worry about next week. Next week will come, and then we'll uh, next week we'll worry about next week. But right now we'll worry about today. It's Tic Tac Tuesday. I'm gonna talk about Raw Event Center, Tic Tac Tuesday, and whatnot. NXT's today. Everything's cocoa, uh, cuckoo bananas, as usual, <laughs> in my life. So, uh, so we'll we'll see to it at that. All right, I will see you guys later. You guys have a blessed day, and remember, peace, love, and bless out. See you in the next episode.